Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BISP Solution. In this session, I'm going to explain you how you can create the supplemental life plan using quick create plan options. So we created these options here, the employee only, the employee plus spouse, the employee plus family, right? And we also created these options, 1x salary, 2x salary coverage, 3x salary coverage. And we created the plan type, medical and the life insurance, right? Now, what we're going to create, we are going to create this example of the plan. We are going to create the supplemental life here for, uh, for the these options and also this plan type associated. So how this hierarchy works, I'll just show you how we can associate these, option, these options with each other. And we also created the medical plan, right? So now I'm going to create this. So just move on to the application here. I'm logging as a implementation user and going to the administration, benefit administration option and then click on the plan configuration. Click on the sub tab plan. And here, just click on the quick create plan option. Here, fill the name. First, you have to change the session effective date. So it gives you a warning. So first, you have to change the effective date. Otherwise, you may lose your data. So make sure you change the effective date at first now you have to give the plan name supplemental life and i'm go going to use this in a program and rate level as a legal entity here here i'm going to select the plan type the life insurance and legal entity for this plan is a us legal entity and here i'm going to set the plan year so i'm going to select as a 2019 to 2024 okay and here you can also use uh, uh, sorry associate the participant uh, who are eligible for this plan okay so you can uh, add like 70 and ever for this uh, 70 and ever employee are eligible for this plan so you can just select this and just click on this arrow okay and here we can add the options so i just click on the create and here you can see these options here because these are associated with this plan type. That's why we are able to see here. And I'm going to add another one. And here you can see the enrollment certification also see here, this category. Why there is a two field for one information? Because if you don't want to use this option, if you don't want use the options field here, you can fill the information here also. And same for the plan coverage amount. If you don't want option to use under your plan, so you can fill these information here. Okay, then just click on the save option. Now it's caused the processing and it's completed. This is a summary page of your plan. So this is how we can create the plan using quick create plan options. Okay. If we search here. Here you can see all the defined plan, the saving, the medical, the health insurance, the life insurance. Okay. Then here you can see the validate option. Right, but these validate option are appear who are used in the uh, not in a program uses, right? Under the inner inner program uses, there is a no validate option. So if I just select any one of them, 
here what we have to do we have to just click on the validate option so here it gives you the level the plan type the plan option plan and option in a plan and option it's validate all the information here okay so uh, some rules are not validated here also so if you have any other options so attached with this plan you can also see here okay and then just click on the done option so this is how not in a program work and it is not appear in our supplemental life plan because we used in a program option uses okay so this is how we can use a quick create plan and we can create the supplemental life plan so thank you so much for your watching the video